Hey guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. I am comfy today because I'm waiting on maintenance to come bring me a new washing machine, which I'm very excited about, but I just feel a tiny bit weird being all like dressed up and fancy for a bunch of random men to come into my apartment. So this is what we got today. In today's video, I'm going to be reading you five Glitch in the Matrix stories from the Glitch in the Matrix subreddit. But before we get into it, if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here, click the subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I post every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We love spooky Sundays around here. And other than that, let's just get right on into the video. Oscar says hello from his napping spot on my lap. All right, so some of these are longer, some of these are shorter. The first one we have is a little bit shorter. This is by the user UrbanFlow3, and it's called A Week Flew By Without Explanation. So around the time I was in high school during summer break, I fell asleep on a Monday afternoon and woke up at night on a Friday of the same week. When I woke up, I realized it was dark and I was hungry. My mom had told me she was making burgers before I had fallen asleep, and when I woke up, there was spaghetti on the stove. And she was like, I hope you're hungry. I was like, where's the burgers? Makes sense. I love a good burger. Beyond though, not real meat. She said, that was Monday, so I freaked out a little. She said, it's Friday, and I didn't believe her at all. However, I checked my phone, and it was indeed Friday. She said, she had been trying to wake me all week, but for me, it felt like I was only asleep a few hours. It hasn't happened since. That's crazy. I... I, I had a similar experience. I mean, it was only 36 hours. It was like at the beginning of COVID, like first two weeks of lockdown, I slept for 36 hours. And it was back when I lived with my parents. And my mom said that her and my dad were like taking turns trying to wake me up for literally like 36 hours. And they almost called an ambulance because they were like, she's not waking up. Apparently I also yelled at them when they tried to wake me up, but I have no recollection of this. I just know I woke up. And I thought it was Thursday. My mom was like, no, it's Friday. Like, you slept through the entire day of Thursday. Crazy. But, like, that was just 36 hours during, you know, the start of a pandemic. Like, this is a week. Also, how do you sleep through spring break? I also find it a little bit hard to believe that the mom would panic with him not, like, eating or drinking or, like, showering for a week. That's a little strange. But maybe it was a glitch in the Matrix. He just time jump to Friday. The next story is by the user dpaulson123 and it's called Pool Without Water. A few years ago I was spending the day at my mother-in-law's very high-end apartment building with a former president's name on it for her birthday. She is a resident of the tower. I was swimming on the rooftop pool for a few hours with my wife and kids. We had a birthday cake etc. Then when people were cleaning up I went to the indoor pool slash spa area. I was in the hot tub for a while with the wife and kids, and then we jumped into the sauna. After the sauna, I went to jump into the indoor pool. It is a large, beautiful pool. I've used it many times. I go to jump in. See, the lifeguard chair is empty, except the lifeguard left his float across the arms. I looked at the sign, and it didn't say we couldn't swim without a guard present, so I jumped in. I decided not to dive, as it said no diving. I used to be a competitive swimmer and usually do dive. I'm an excellent shallow diver. However, I jumped feet first, figuring I'd follow the rules for some reason. I proceeded to jump in the pool and slam. The water was gone. I break my wrist and hurt my heel. My son comes running and says, where did the water go? I couldn't believe it. I could see the water and then no water. I would have died if I dove in. I'm not an idiot. My doctor said the eyes will sometimes fill in things that aren't there to make the brain see things the way it wants to see them. I probably jumped into an empty pool, but my brain saw water. Thank God he listened to the rules. The rules are there for a reason. I mean, probably not that exact reason, but thank God he didn't jump in head first, otherwise he'd probably be dead. How does the water just like disappear though? Especially if the sun saw it too, it wasn't just him. Like multiple people saw the water and then it just vanished. That's crazy. I suppose like in indoor pools, like if there's not that many windows, there's not much sunlight like bouncing off the surface, but still. If you see water, you see water. All right, this next story is a little bit longer. It is by the user Immediate Waffle. And it's called, I believe what I experienced was more like a flicker in the matrix. I say it's a flicker because it was almost like I was slipping back and forth between parallel realities or something like that. So the whole day started off when my alarm goes off at 4 a.m. 
I turn off the alarm, swing my legs over the side of the bed, and immediately snap my fingers, signaling my dogs to come with me to go outside. When I returned to our room, I was stunned to see my wife sleeping on our bed. The reason I was surprised is because my wife was working a graveyard shift at the hospital. I'm a thousand percent sure she was working that night because I distinctly remember staying up late texting her, and she was not in bed when I fell asleep. I think she heard me moving around and woke up. I asked her if she left work early for some reason. She just like stares blankly and says, babe, I was home with you all night last night. Weird, obviously, but I'm still half asleep and I just need to get to work, so I shrug it off. Maybe I just misremembered. I was running late for work, so I'm like zooming. I get to work and immediately jump out and hustle to the door only to find the door locked. I proceeded to try every single door, all locked. I finally start looking around and notice there's barely any cars. I call my boss to ask if we were closed for some reason. When he picks up, he says, what are you talking about? You know we don't open until 5.30. I'm like, yeah, exactly. It's 5.30. Where is everybody? He's like, look at your phone. It's 4.30. And when I look, he's correct. But I'm positive my alarm said 4 a.m. when I woke up. It uses geolocation to give you the right time zone, so I definitely didn't change it. I don't have time to go all the way back home and all the way back, so I just recline in my car and wait. Once we finally open up, I bring my thermos of coffee, go inside, and get my assignment from my supervisor. I drop my coffee at the workstation and realize I need to run back out to my car for my headphone and chargers. I go grab my cables and headphones, specifically making sure I had both, the black one and the white one, since I needed both. I started walking back towards the building, and I don't get 10 feet from my car when I look down at the cords in my hands and realize I don't have the black one. I turn back to my car and walk the exact same path, checking the ground for it, figuring I dropped it. It is nowhere to be found. I start shining my flashlight under cars and searching the inside of my own vehicle. Repeatedly. Nothing. I was really bothered slash annoyed by it, so I stubbornly started searching the entire lot in expanding circular pattern. Absolutely nothing. Rationally, it can only be in three places. Inside my car, under slash around my car, or in the 10 steps path I took before turning around. There was nobody even near me or my car that might have picked it up. No animals or anything that ran off with it. Never heard anything, no wind. And like I said, I literally only walked 10 steps from my car. There's not a rational explanation. It literally vanished into, into the ether? Is that a word? Into the ether when I turned around. This happened a few months ago, and I still check the lot every morning to see if it reemerges. Nothing so far. And lastly, after I finally went back inside, I get a call from my wife. That's weird because she was sleeping when I left. I pick it up and ask if anything is wrong. She says no, but she's on her way home from work and wanted to call me to keep herself awake on the drive home. I'm like, what? I just saw you sleeping in our bed when I left, and she has no clue what I was talking about. I legit thought I was losing my mind. Honestly, that might make me go crazy. Especially like the wife having actually gone to work after like he had that whole thing. It's like, it's one thing if he woke up thinking she was there and then she ended up like coming back from work later, but he thought she wasn't there and then was shocked to see that she was there. And then later is shocked again by the fact that she wasn't there. That's extra confusing. Also like showing up to work an hour early when he thought he was running late and then losing the cord. That, I mean, I've had stuff like that happen to me all the time. Just the other day, I lost the backing of my earring. It like, it's like one of those screw on balls. It apparently unscrewed itself in the shower. And I just assumed that it went down the shower drain and was gone forever. So I found like an extra one and screwed it on. Two days later, like I've taken a couple showers at this point. Two days later, I find it just sitting in the center of my shower. Like, hello? I mean, this guy didn't find it, but I'm like, things just randomly disappear and reemerge for no reason. It's the weirdest thing. So yeah, that one's kind of strange if you ask me. Definitely a flicker. Like he's going back and forth between realities or something. That would freak me out. Our fourth story of the video is by the user Land Inc. and it's called Strange Experience Has Me Wondering If I'm Losing It. Just a bit of a background, no serious mental health problems other than some mild anxiety and depression. Same. I take 25 milligrams of Zoloft, so I don't think I'm tripping or hallucinating. This morning, I woke up for work, left a little earlier than usual because I woke up before my alarm. Filled my water bottle, grabbed my access card, and got in my car and drove off. My commute is the same every day, 40 minutes. It's mostly interstate and there's always traffic. While my car is warming up, I pick an album to listen to for the drive there. I usually make it about three quarters of the way through an album before I get to work. Every day is a new album. So I did all of that. I drove to work. I remember being cut off. I remember being in standstill traffic towards my exit. I remember the album I listened to. I even remember responding to a text using Siri. I remember seeing a type of car I've never seen before in the US. I remember thinking to myself, I'm glad it's not as hot today. 
I definitely drove. So I get to work, pull into the same parking space I take every day, step out of my car, and lo and behold, I'm still in front of my apartment building. 40 minutes later, almost done with the album I put on, what was I doing? Where did I go? I don't even have any explanation for that, unless he like turned around halfway <laughs> and didn't realize that he was heading back home. I sometimes space out when I drive. It's quite frightening actually when you realize you don't remember anything for the last 20 minutes. You just somehow arrived at your destination. So it seems like that's what happened to this guy. He just ended up back home instead of at work. Something's not right about that. Our final story of the video is by the user snoo-11146 and it's called My Dead Grandfather Answered the Phone. Well, I was calling my grandmother from my mobile phone on her landline. I was in a place with poor mobile connection. My grandfather, who passed away around 14 years before, answered the phone. It was the same voice in the same way he used to answer the phone when he was alive. I froze for a moment, then I said, I'm sorry, maybe I just called the wrong number. Then I hung up. I checked my dialed number, but it was the same number already saved in my phone. I didn't even type any number to call. I just picked her name from my contacts and called. And I recalled her again, just by clicking on her name again from the previous call. My dead grandfather answered, but this time my grandmother answered normally. That's a little bit freaky, but also at the same time, I wouldn't be mad if that happened to me. Like I'd probably stay on the phone and try and chit chat a little bit. <laughs> to me, that's giving like somehow he like, called up heaven. <laughs> he like called up a different dimension at that point. That'd be nice. Maybe one day I'll call my grandma and my grandpa will pick up. Who knows? I mean, hey, I just recently found out that there's an afterlife, so it's possible. Yeah, I think that's a nice and wholesome one to end this video on. I don't know, have no explanation for that, but at least it's not a scary one. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below your thoughts on any of the stories or what your favorite story was. Also, feel free to tag me in any like glitch in the matrix or scary TikToks on TikTok or send me any like links to Reddit stories or something on my Instagram. All my links will be down below. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, click the subscribe button down below and turn my post notifications so you never miss a video. I post every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for Spooky Sundays. Other than that, I will see you next week. Bye.